Hi guys, how are you? Today we'll be talking about bags again, <laughs> I know. So in today's video I'll be sharing with you which are my most and least worn handbags. I love my entire handbag collection, I love every single bag that I own and I'm not thinking about selling any yet. <laughs> Some of my choices might shock you a little bit so if you're interested and want to see which bags made the cut and which didn't and why I don't really wear them as much as I would love to, keep watching. <laughs> Before we start, I would love it if you guys come follow me on my Instagram. This is my Instagram here. You can see how I style my new pieces. I show you my daily outfits on my stories as well. So if you're interested, come say hello on my Instagram. Okay, let's start on a positive note and I'll show you the first bag that I wear a ton and this is even a surprise for me because I wasn't a fan of this bag initially. I'm talking about the Dior 30 Montan. When it came out, I didn't really like it as much. I thought it was a bit too plain, very simple, um, nothing special about it. However, it kind of grew on me. I saw this color, they released this beautiful, uh, very dark, deep blue color in the crinkled calf leather, and I fell in love. I thought the contrast with the gold hardware on this color is beautiful. My mom, by the way, is obsessed with this bag, and I have promised to give it to her once I'm tired of it. I've been using this bag a ton since I bought it. It is so practical. It is a bit understated because of the logo, like it says CD. Can you guys see it's like a CD, but you can't really tell if you're not really into fashion. You wouldn't know this is a Dior bag. I'll show you it inside. There is one big compartment. I actually love that Dior did that and didn't put any compartment because compared to, let's say, the Chanel trench that I have, it is a larger bag. However, it has three compartments and they're all small, so you can't fit as much. I wish it was all one big compartment. Um, so this is another thing that I love about this bag. There is also a back pocket where I put my phone if I want to be hands-free. There are some cards now, I don't know what it is, like some cards. Anyway, but yeah, it's a crossbody bag. You can remove the strap, it is adjustable. Very comfortable strap, it doesn't dig in my shoulder. Um, so yeah, I don't know what else to say about this. If you're interested and want to see the unboxing video, I'll link it up here. Um, I got this for Christmas and I have worn it so much since then, so this is definitely getting so much love. <laughs> okay, let's continue with a bag that I don't really use as much as I would love to and this might come as a shock for some of you. Don't get me wrong, I love this bag. I love it so much. It is probably one of my prettiest bags in my collection and it is another Dior bag, however, compared to the previous Dior bag, this one I don't wear as much. Oh my god, even today with my outfit, this looks so beautiful with the lilac top and this beautiful pink, a bit of a Barbie look, <laughs> but I love it. Anyway, so, so this bag I got last year for my birthday and when I bought the bag, I was so excited, I wanted to wear it non-stop, however, I found it a bit trickier to style. I know it's like a neutral color, but I don't really wear pinks as much. I feel that if this was a nude bag, like a beigey nude color, I would have worn it a lot more. However, because it's pink and I don't really have much clothes to style it with, I had to buy clothes actually so I can wear the bag. So yes, I did have to spend a lot in order to wear this bag because I bought matching shoes, I bought your sneakers in the pink color, I bought another pair of uh, pink Fenji sandals to match it. I think last time I wore this bag must have been probably end of August last year or maybe September. Um, but since then, I haven't used it. It's been sleeping in its dust bag. So I feel bad because I really want to wear it more. It is a beautiful bag. I'm really happy that I added the LH Duo to my collection. I think it is a beautiful, classic, timeless piece to have. And I'm not planning to sell this anytime soon. I think I'll keep it 
probably forever um, but I'll definitely try to use it more now for spring and summer but yeah it's definitely not a winter bag and here in England it is mainly raining and cold so maybe that's why I didn't wear it as much but I'll try to wear it more now it is so pretty I love it and it is a very very practical it fits quite a lot and it has this um, opening it's not like the zipper opening um, so it's easier to get in and out <laughs> okay let's see who can guess which is my next most worn bag it is quite a new addition to the family it is a large bag one of the few large bags that I own actually because most of my bags are very tiny did you guys guess it is yes it is my Louis Vuitton undergo taught in the mm size okay guys i have spoken about this bag so much in my recent video so i'll try not to talk too much about it in this video as well because you're probably tired of hearing how much i love this bag and how much i use it i guess i needed a bag in this size in my collection i needed it for work so i use this bag at least three times a week i use it when i go to meetings it fits my laptop I have a MacBook Pro 13 inch and it fits perfectly inside. I also use it for traveling. It is a perfect bag for traveling. It has longer straps and I love that it has the reverse monogram and the classic monogram. It is so beautiful. Also the lining is so beautiful. I have an organizer. I'll link the organizer that I have. I spoke about it in another video that I uploaded recently. My organizer is from Samoga so um, it's matching the lining, it's red and it is so useful uh, because it's like one open space inside so the organizer made it even more practical because now I can organize my wallet, I can put my headphones in one of the compartments, I can put a bottle, there is like a space for bottle, I don't know if you can guys see. The MM size is perfect for me, I wouldn't want to go bigger, there is one size bigger. This also comes in a GM size by the way, so if you want it larger, you can go larger, however bear in mind it will get heavier, so you'll put more stuff in it, so the MM is perfect. Okay, next I want to show you this little annoying bag that, oh my god, I think it is so beautiful. It is such a beautiful unicorn bag. However, I have a love-hate relationship with it and I'll explain why. Did you guys guess? It is my <laughs> Chanel boy bag. So, why is this bag so annoying? Well, let me tell you. This strap is hell. This gets tangled in my hair non-stop and it hurts so badly when I try to untangle my hair. It catches my hair all the time and no matter if my hair is up on a ponytail, I know I have long hair and my ponytail is quite long so the strap catches my ponytail and it hurts and it pulls and it is just so annoying. However, this is one of my favorite unicorn bags that I own. This is a true unicorn. It is so beautiful. This is the Iridescent Boy bag. I think it came with a cruise collection. I can't remember which one. It must have been four years ago. I think it came four years ago uh, with a cruise collection and I fell in love with it. I think it is absolutely stunning. Uh, it is iridescent, it is the purple iridescent and in certain lighting it looks very purple, in different lighting it looks green or grey. So this is my little chameleon bag, I love it so much, however I don't really use it as much because of the annoying strap that pulls my hair <laughs> and um, tortures me all the time. There was a time when I was considering selling it uh, but uh, my friends and my mom were like are you crazy this is like one of your most beautiful bags even if you don't wear it just keep it it is stunning so I decided to keep it at the end but I can't really part ways with it it is so beautiful and the chain can you guys see the chain? Oh my god, how beautiful. This iridescent, multicolored rainbow chain with the hardware. It is so special. So I think this is staying for now. Um, so, but yeah, it's quite annoying. I wish I can wear it more. I feel that this is probably my most worn bag in my entire handbag collection. I have worn this so much. I bought it in Paris. I can't remember how long ago. It must have been two or three years ago now. And 
I can't tell you how much I've worn this bag. I use it as an evening bag, as a clutch, I use it as a crossbody, as an everyday bag, as a casual bag. It's a very tiny bag, it doesn't fit a lot, but it fits all my essentials, which is enough for me. I think it's beautiful, it is inspired by the Louis Vuitton trunks. I know the price tag is quite hefty, but trust me, you won't regret it. It goes with everything, it is classic, timeless, and such a beautiful, unique piece. I also get so many compliments every time I wear it. Um, people that are not into fashion love this bag, people who don't know what this is, love this bag and I always get so many compliments on it. So that's why this little baby made the video because it is so special, so I love you. <laughs> I know I'm kind of cheating, but I wanted to show you another bag, one more bag that I love and wear a lot. I decided to do this only because I showed you two Louis Vuitton monogram bags, so I wanted to show you something different that I also love and wear a ton so it is this one this is my coco handle in the light gray i love this bag a lot i wear it so much again i was thinking do i wear this one more or the green trendy i feel that i love the green trendy and the style more however i picked this because i feel that i've worn it a bit more than the green trendy because of the color it is so easy to style it goes with everything i wear this in the winter i wear it in the summer it is perfect for every season. It looks so beautiful with dresses. It is great as an everyday bag, as an evening bag. It is a really cute little baggy. It actually fits a lot, although there are two compartments and the bag is divided. One of the compartments is quite wide, so it fits a lot. It fits my camera even, which is quite bulky. I have to change my camera and buy a new one, but it even fits the bulky camera that I have. So that's great. I also love wearing this in the winter. I love wearing white in the winter. I know this is not a white bag. It is a very light gray, but it looks so beautiful. And it looks so beautiful when you wear white coat with this bag in the snow. There isn't really much snow in the UK, is there? But you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, this is another huge favorite and I mainly wear it on the crook of my arm or as a top handle. It doesn't go across body, the strap is removable, but it is quite short so it doesn't really go across body on me because I'm quite tall, but I still love it. So another cutie and I didn't think I'll wear it that much initially when I bought it. I thought I'd be very scared to wear it because it's a light colored bag, however, Still no color transfer, no marks, no that. There is a little bit, um, I think it's like fake tan on the stitching on the inside of the top handle, but that's fine. I can always put a twilly, but I just love how it looks without a twilly, so yeah. All right, last, and it really hurts me to say this, but my least worn handbag in my entire luxury handbag collection is it is a, this where i sell beautiful metallic bag i don't know the name of it i'm not sure what's the style um if you know let me know i think it is absolutely beautiful it is great as an evening bag i think that's why i don't wear it as much because to me this is more of an evening bag when i initially bought it i wore it a lot during the day but I don't know it looks a bit weird because it's metallic and it is a bit more trickier to style as well so um, to me this is definitely an evening bag because it's metallic so I would say the only time I wear this bag is when I go out for drinks which doesn't really happen very often <laughs> when I go clubbing which never happens so that's a lie <laughs> but yeah whenever i go for drinks or fancy dinners or let's say a nice evening event whenever i wear heels i would take this bag with me and it is great for that i love that it has the quilting and the chevron pattern um, and the color is beautiful it's very unique i forgot the name of the color so if i find it i'll link it here or down below um, I'll try and find the color. Really cute. It has magnetic closure and it fits a lot. Um, one thing that I want to mention, the wear, I think because it's metallic 
and it has some weird coating like metallic coating it does wear off and although I haven't worn it I've worn this bag I don't know a handful of times um, I do have some wear on the corners and like the sharp edges here and um, a little bit here so yeah Alright guys, that's all. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please share with me in the comment section down below which are your top most worn and least worn bags in your collection. I would love to know. Also, if you own some of the bags that I showed you in this video, let me know if you struggle with the same issues. Do you agree with me? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.